Hi, my name is Justin Schelf and I'm the engineering lead at PatchMyPC. In this video, we're going to show you a common issue that can happen when we try to expire updates where the content no longer exists in the WSL's content folder for that update. This issue could happen in our publishing service, SCUP, or the SCCM publishing feature. The reason this happens when a new update comes out, so in our uh, example, we're looking at 7-zip 18.05. Now, let's say that there was a new version of 7-Zip that came out and we mark the 18.05 as expired in our catalog. When that happens, our publishing service, SCUP, or SCCM will attempt to expire that update using a WSUS API to expire it. What happens if the update content no longer exists within the WSUS content folder, the WSUS API that expires it attempts to validate the file and the signature for that update. Now, if you're running a custom WSUS maintenance task, or maybe you did a WSUS util and then moved your content, uh, there's a variety of reasons why these files might get deleted. Um, usually it comes down to some type of custom maintenance script that might be just deleting files from the content folder. Now, if this happens, when we attempt to expire the update using the WSUS API, what's going to happen, you're gonna see an error that says, uh, verification of the signature file failed uh, when expiring the update. So if we actually look at the path that it's trying to search for that third-party update, we can see that it's in the WSUS folder and in the update service packs. So what we've done in this scenario, we've uh, replicated the issue where the content no longer exists. So since that folder in that cab file that was published for this third-party update no longer exists, that's why we're getting this error. So as a workaround, we're going to show you how you can use our publishing service to decline and delete the update. So in order to work around this, first you want to figure out what updates are failing. So in our case, we can see that we have 7-zip 64 and 7-zip 32-bit for the 18.05 version. After you verify that it is in fact failing because it can't find that file, and if you browse out to your WSUS uh, folder and the path that it's looking for when it expires the update, you can verify this is in fact the reason it's failing. So in order to work around this, what we can do, we can come over to our publishing service. If you're using SCUP or SCCM, you just wanna make sure you install our publishing service in order to perform this operation. In the advanced tab, we have a wizard to modify published updates. I'm going to go ahead and run that wizard. You're going to want to select the issue, the updates that are having this issue when they're being expired. In our case, it's just these two 7-zip updates. And from this point, we want to click the decline selected updates option. So we can verify that it was successful, and we can now see that both of these are declined. Once that's performed, we're going to go ahead and synchronize our SCCM software update point and what should happen, the decline operation is quite similar to an update being expired, but when we call the decline API, it does not need access to the file when it attempts to verify it. So uh, when our software update point syncs, what we should see is even though the updates are declined, when they actually sync over to SCCM, they're gonna be marked as expired, and then they'll get cleaned up using the normal SCCM uh, maintenance. So once that's done, uh, this looks good. Once we do that, uh, what we would want to do is then delete the updates using the delete selected updates option. So now that we can see the updates were successfully deleted, now at this point, if we were to run the publishing service again, since the updates were declined and now deleted, what should happen, it just shouldn't even detect these updates anymore because it's not going to see that they're published to WSUS. So now if we go ahead and open and run the service, we can see that there were no changes, so we declined and deleted those old updates, and they're also showing in SCCM as uh, expired. So that's gonna be the workaround in order to get around the issue when we try to expire the updates, when it says it can't find the file and verification failed. Thank you for watching, and I hope this was helpful.